so in this session i will show you how to do head rotation okay when i say head rotation we are not doing full 360 degree but i'll show you in this video how to do from front to at least side or up and down all those things yes you can do 360 in animate but you have to do some lot of drawings there but in this case we are using just front of this particular drawing only front face of rabbit and if you see like uh, i have done full grouping here tracing and grouping you can check this so i'll see everything is separate separate things we have not done any layers if i check layers there nothing is there single only but we have done lot of grouping kind of thing so if you want to control whole character differently then this grouping is very very important so when you trace only you just take like the separate separate parts and group you can do that in animate only there are old videos how to trace color or you can do it in illustrator and you can import that file also but this part by part is very very important okay so is a rabbit face we have like separate separate parts i'll just rearrange it again now control z undo come back to normal okay so now i'll show you how to do head rotation little bit in very interestingly very smoother way okay for that first select all and right click distribute to layers done so you can see like all the body parts like face parts are in different 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 layers there are some 20 plus layers now layers are more here so you can't see the artwork you what i can do is i just bring this layer timeline this side timeline second okay so i can keep my character be here and i can check the timeline here you can rearrange this it's called docking the palettes you can do like this or if you are, or if you are using some double monitor you can just send this timeline to one more screen and you can work so uh face drawing is ready grouping is ready everything is separately grouped and everything is distributed to layers right now we'll start the animation so we'll be using tween so from first frame i'm not going to do anything i'll just go to some 15th frame i'll add all frames shortcut key f5 or right click insert frame and i'll say right click create classic tween just say okay for all layers at a time i'll be creating tween and f6 so now you can see there is a first frame and 15th frame and we have given all tweening here but we have not done anything like we are not change any position now now see the fun so i'll go for three fourth face from front to three fourth right side three fourth will try very important go to 15th frame not in first frame go to 15th frame and just move these parts to three fourth so i'll just move it just imagine if the rabbit is looking to right side what will happen so we can select multiple files at a time no problem so i'll move it i'll move this cheeks little inside because it is three fourth i'll move these cheeks here okay eyes i brow i'll be moving select everything using shift just move it and i'll make little squash squeeze because it is 3/4 it's going to side same time i'll move these eyes this side so it is looking now 3/4 even you can move little this ears so i'll push this ears little up this will be like this okay this part will be here done so you can check like now it is looking like 3/4 right you can move still more i'll just check how it works now so from front to 3/4 see full smooth animation looking that side practice this first because later you can just check with the symbols and you can try expression side blink when it is moving but see now so easily it is moving from front to side now come back to front maybe so i'll give some five frames there extra to stay maybe it is seeing something there so i'll give stay here and it has to come back to normal so what i'll do i'll take the same frames same first frames just copy these frames and i'll paste it after wait it is going somewhere 
twenty fifth frame maybe or okay so little bit you need lot of space here I'll just move this little I'll give some more frames okay check so now first frame it will be in front then it will go to three four then come back to front just check okay it's in loop but you can play with this now got it this is the easy way to rotate head rotation see it is going side maybe you can imp increase some frames later once your animation is done and then you can play with the timing to stay for there some time then it is coming back to front right now i'll change it to left side okay i'll give some more frames from here maybe i'll say 20 frames 15 frames something like that done see that you are selecting all the parts don't miss anything there f6 and we are going to rotate it to this side now. so done select same like how you done it for right side we are doing it for left now so I'll just move it here and I'll just do little squash so yeah, you can move eyeball also if you want depends just move this select move it so this whole part will go this side nose will scratch this little bit okay done same ears maybe you can bring it down depends I'll just bring it down done so now it is looking to side C okay we have not moved this eye we will move that eye little bit more so I think this eye has to move little more compared to that one more the small small tweaking will be there you can do it later no problem or even you can move this eyeball here it will be good because it is in different different layers we have all the freedom to edit like all the freedom to clear control the content see done now okay this is the plan I'll give little timing rotation I'll give still more I'll give some stay there and coming back to front I'll give more frames then going to left side I'll give some more frames now okay I'll copy the frames it will come back to same position okay so don't get confused very very easy so this is like normal frame here going to one side and coming it will be staying for some frame there and coming back to normal <coughs> and it will come back to normal here wait from side to front there is no stay inside you can give I'll give just one more F6 here and I'll just give stay in the one more side so it will be staying for this sometime check this okay okay done see so easily you can do head rotation like this it look like 3d like with because of different different layers now I'll continue a little bit more now I'll keep my timeline I'll keep it somewhere here okay once it is back I'll do now head rotation to down it is looking down okay so I'll give some 20 frames I'll give some 20 frames here F6 slowly then I'll just double click on timeline so it has to look down now so very simple just think so looking down this part will be down all these parts select all at a time just push it down and even you can push this nose part little more down comparatively you can squash this little bit like this and move all eye parts down even eyebrows 
okay this light if you want move you can move it's up to you how is looking down so this will be below here when it is looking down it'll put ears will go up opposite animation so it's looking down now just finishing it okay you'll see the animation okay from here to here see it is looking down see so smoothly it is looking down side normal left back to normal looking down right good i'll give it to stay there and we'll go back to up pose so once it is coming down then i'll give some frames there stay so it will stay there for some frames and we'll have some animation then it will go back to normal so this is our normal video normal pose so i'll take all these normal frames and copy paste it to last so try maybe you try with some 10 layers once you are get confident then you can go to bigger uh, animation now i'll show how it will look up so i'll add some more frames okay now it will be looking up so up means this will go inside from pakka and ears will move it down so i'm doing it very very easily here i'm not doing any pivot points no movie clip no symbol nothing just some layers okay so it is looking up if you want move your eyeball yes you can move eyeball also to look good like this so no skew everything will go up again we are going to squash this little bit so it is looking up now we'll check from normal to up see normal to up so very very easily you can animate like this see looking down normal going up and i'll just say like come back to normal position and we'll end this session back to normal we check this animation now see so once you are okay with this you can try for whole body and you can do like this 3d animation done so that's all for this session very important please subscribe to channel and share these videos with your friends who are animators and who want to learn like these tips and tricks so please share and subscribe to my channel okay thank you